Well, I've uh, signed a long-term contract uh, with uh, Lamborghini, so I'm really proud and happy to be part of uh, the Lamborghini family. Obviously, uh, my goals are matched with, with, the, with the goals of, uh, of the factory. That's clear, that's the, the, the main target we have. So obviously, um, we aim to be as successful as possible in any race we do. Uh, obviously, it doesn't matter if it's a sprint race or endurance race, you always aim for the maximum. You always want to be uh, on top and you always try to go for the win. Um, at the end of the day, what counts and what matters are the results and the, the championships and titles that you can get home at the end of the year. So we both, me and Lamborghini, we aim high and that's our goal to, to, to reach as many of them and as high as possible. Yeah, obviously being su successful in the in the GT world, but not only in motorsports in general requires, you know, uh, a lot of work and dedication and preparation. And it's a result of, um, of all those uh, things put together and uh, over a distance of, of, of time, obviously. Uh, it's not like you start today and you win tomorrow. It's uh, basically you start today, you work really hard, you go through highs and lows and then if everything works works out really well, everybody has to do his job at the, at the top level because it's not just the car or not just the driver, it's the team, the car, the driver, every single part, every single member of a team makes a difference and can decide between winning or losing at the end of the day. In GT3 racing, the competition, the level of competition is extremely high. We are talking about 10, 11 brands fighting all together on the track with the aim to win. Um, we don't have front runners and back runners. You can win a race and the next race you can be in the middle of the pack or even at the end of the field. You never know what's going to happen. You have, always have to be at the top of your game if you want to be successful. That's what makes GT racing so tough, but at the same time so nice for us because we want to be at the top level. Um, and we're really proud of that. And uh, for me personally, it's a challenge every day to be at the top of my game. And, uh, and I really uh, like this. The most fun part of racing is winning. Because motorsport is fun and we all love what we're doing, but if we don't win or if it goes bad or if we don't achieve what we, what we want to achieve and if we don't perform in the way we would like to perform for several reasons, it can be the opposite of fun. Uh, it can be really tough and, and uh, exhausting. And so obviously the, the, the best part of, of motorsport and obviously the most fun part is, is, is the success and having the chance to, to do what we, what we love to do, which is winning. Um, obviously you spend a lot of time with, uh, with your team and you become family. Um, you start talking about not only racing, but you start talking about all kinds of things. We have a lot of fun. It's definitely an important factor to know that you that you are within a family, that you are in a team where you feel comfortable, because otherwise it would be even even worse in, in those bad days. I think that the personal connection between between the team members uh, is a crucial thing in uh, in motorsport. And, um, and we really try to, to have a, a good atmosphere with that, within the team. We have a lot of fun. Uh, we do a lot of jokes and, uh, and we know exactly when it's the moment to be serious and when it's the moment to have fun all together, which is obviously really important. Well, I think the best day was uh, for me personally, Daytona 2018. It was um, a really tough race. Um, uh, the first uh, you know, taking the first ever Lamborghini 24-hour race win at Daytona um, was was something unique, something special, an unforgettable moment for me, and um, and I really have good memories about that one. Obviously, um, well, bad days. Honestly, as I said before, there are when you cannot. For me, the, a bad day is is when you when you have high expectations, but when you at the same time. Uh, are not prepared well enough for some reason, in, I'm talking about the package, uh, that you cannot perform or you cannot get 100% out of your package for some reason. This uh, gives me always the feeling that, I, that we didn't do what we could have done and in that case I'm, I'm not happy and um, obviously I believe a lot in hard work more than, than bad luck. For me it's, uh, it's all about working hard every day um, as a team, obviously, to, to, to reach our targets. 
and um, if we do that, we we achieved what we um, what we could have done, what is in our control. Obviously, I'm not talking about the success on track because success on track depends by other factors as well, which are not always in our control. But we have to focus on on those factors that we can control, and if we do the maximum there, then we've done our job in the in the best possible way. And obviously, if for some reason we cannot do that, then we, we haven't performed at, at our best and then I would rate that as a bad day.